I've had a few people ask me about doing a 20,000 foot view of Synergy. So hopefully this uh, little video will help you out a little bit. The uh, end user portal you're looking at here allows you to personalize this with your own logo and information. You can put in the 10 most popular questions or issues that you might have, as well as give the user the ability to register here or have a download center on the outside, as well as having a um, search engine portal right here that allows you to search your document center for information that might help resolve issues or problems. There's three ways to actually log a ticket into Synergy. You can use the end user portal you're looking at here. You can do it through general email or you have the ability to use a web form which is actually a questionnaire that might ask a series of questions and then build a ticket out of that automatically inside of Synergy. When I first log into Synergy, I can view all of the tickets on the dashboard if I have the ability to be able to do that according to permissions. Or you can customize this dashboard to some degree so that you're able to see all of the tickets, just your tickets, um, certain calendar items, and so on and so forth. You've also got a filter here that allows you to see your open tickets or those tickets that have been conducted today, this week, so on and so forth. When I build a ticket in Synergy, it's a pretty simple process because first of all, you just click on new ticket. Then I do a simple search throughout the system based on any of the criteria that you see that uh, come up here as far as first name, last name, company name, so on and so forth. <clears throat> when it does the search, I'm able to select whatever contact name and organization out of the search that I want to, and then it takes me to the first part of the ticket thread, at which point I could use Quick Ticket in order to auto-populate information that happens to be in the category, in the name, assignment, auto-assign it, priority, set the status of it, put information in the subject line or the comments line, and then um, I could put additional information in here through the user defined field section if I want to. That gives me a lot of flexibility because this area is 100% customizable. Or in the Knowledge Center, I can do a search for uh, particular types of information if I want to. And if information happens to be in the Knowledge Center, I can pull that information up, create a solution. Um, finish the ticket, actually save that information back to the ticket, and then uh, create the ticket if I want to, including that ticket in that Knowledge Center search. So in the ticket side of it, I can see the comments area. I can merge this ticket with other tickets if I want to have uh, time tracking within the ticket so I can look at a time clock that shows the actual start watch and stop watch information that might be inside of a ticket. Manual time I could actually input into the ticket. Or if I've um, actually put an estimated ticket time in there, it'll show me the shrinkage or the overage on that particular ticket. You might note also up here I can create a recurring ticket or I could clone this ticket at this point if I wanted to, as well as be able to print out the hours that I might have spent within the ticket. The CRM tab allows me to have the company information and everywhere that you see a link, you're going to see um, essentially another database level, if you may. So right here, it shows organization information as well as contact information, each of which would have uh, multiple addresses of information, email addresses, phone numbers, so on and so forth. User defined fields, <clears throat> again, give me a lot of flexibility. The activity tab, allows me to set notes in the section that are date and time stamped according to the user, send emails, schedule appointments that fall on the 30-day calendar, and we use the iSchedule format up here, put comments in here, upgrade attachments, and you'll note that you can do attachments in Synergy in just about every section of Synergy, whether it's um, the contact level, the company level, ticket level, asset level, and speaking of assets, that is an important part of Synergy. If you're dealing with internal assets, 
or you can use this same tab for external products if you're supporting external products out there. I can do a search on assets or products. I can attach that asset or product back to a ticket to make that uh, an effective search and creative way to set the ticket. Activities and I schedule have to do with the calendar. Knowledge Center is straightforward. It uh, has to do with putting knowledge in there and what have you. And then the projects allows me to have multiple projects within the system. Each project can have milestones and benchmarks and discussions and tasks and time tracking inside the, each project if I want to. The admin portion of Synergy is very, very powerful. Some of the things that uh, we're most proud of, I would say, are the permissions matrix, which allows you to set the permission according to every feature and function in Synergy happens to be driven by a permission that's turned on or turned off. And as you can see, the end user, staff user, staff supervisor, each one has their own level and matrix of permissions. And if that's not enough on a horizontal level, you can add more security levels as far as you want to in terms of um, you can do it by the name if you literally wanted to or you can set yourself up with more sets of users within the system. Also the user defined field section is a very powerful part of Synergy and I can have a variety type of user defined fields and um, all sorts of different types of user defined fields such as checklist, radio buttons, drop down pick list, um, day date fields. Uh, I can mask those fields. Uh, the rules based engine in Synergy allows you to escalate, de escalate tickets, sends out emails uh, on tickets, as well as uh, you can do surveys through the rules based engine and customize the application to some degree. And <clears throat> to a large degree, the administrator is fairly easy for you to administrate. Uh, just about every function that you can do in Synergy is done through this interface and obviously you're going to curtain certain people out from being able to get to this uh, information if you want them to. The users do have their own tab of information where they can do some configuration on their dashboards and their colors. They can set recurring tickets, quick tickets, do opportunity uh, templates and um, look at some of their time track reports and of course view the um, user manual on this tab as well. There's over 300 reports in Synergy. We use Crystal Report Writer and uh, with a copy of Crystal which is about $249 you're able to custom build any of your own reports and then add those to the Favorites tab within the Report Writer here. But uh, once you set a report up in the system and we've got bar charts and pie charts you can run the report and then if you want to, you can add it to your schedule reports, have the report auto run, and then email you a PDF or CSV file on um, every Friday, for example, so that your boss or, or yourself or your management is getting uh, the reports that they need to be able to make some of those critical decisions. There's a complete scheduler within Synergy. The scheduler is built on the iSchedule format and you can export information that you put in here out to your uh, Outlook if you want to or you can view this on a daily, weekly, monthly overview and you can look at appointments based on the different users that are in the system as well. Synergy gives you a lot of flexibility to be able to customize it around your business processes as well as access to be able to uh, import records into the system if you want to. Uh, you can do a quick search like this. So if you want to do a quick search of the application, all you do is put a letter in here, a letter in here, and now I can do a quick search, as you can see, of the application so that you can bring it up. And as you, it's a graduated search. So as you begin to type, you see that it minimizes the number of records based on the progression of your search. There's a ticket wizard that allows new users to be able to put a ticket in the system as if they've never had any training whatsoever on the system. So it takes them step by step through the process of how to build a ticket. 
and this is where you import your information so if you've got a flat file csv file of information that you want to import into synergy you do that through the import interface and you can map your fields through this and of course we train you on how to do all this information how to apply the information and more importantly we train your people on how to use synergy and apply synergy to your business model so that it's a success both for you the user and for your company as well as your customer